tell you about Jerry Quarry. He's on the brink of a heavyweight title shot against Foreman if he can dispose of Ernie Shavers convincingly tonight. The California battler, after some early disappointments, has brought his way back to number four among the heavyweights. And here comes Jerry Quarry. Jerry was born in Los Angeles, May 15th, 1945. The six foot, one half inch boxer puncher has won 47 of his 57 fights with six losses and four draws. He has stopped 28 opponents and was halted four times twice by Muhammad Ali, once by Joe Frazier in a title bout, and once by George Chevallo. He has lost only to the best. On the plus side, he has beaten off friend Floyd Patterson and also Ron Lyle and Max Foster when they came to Madison Square Garden undefeated. Ernie Shavers is on his way in the ring now. Here comes Ernie. He's the question mark in this fight. We know what Quarry can do, but how about the man you're looking at now? We know he can hit, but can he take it? His KO of Jimmy Ellis was a sensation. But just before he KO'd Jimmy at the Garden with one punch last June, Ellis seemed to stagger him. If Shavers can hit Quarry solidly, he's got a great chance. Ernie has won 46 of his 48 bouts with two losses, won a KO by Ron Sander, but that was long ago. Now get this. Shavers... Keeper, Betty Aviatello. The judges are Bill Rick and Jack Gordon. Counting for the knockdowns at the Bill Kirby Connolly. Jack Gordon. Third man in the ring at this time... Mr. Arthur McCanny. The principals in this feature event of the evening coming to us from Cypress, California. At one, two hundred and two pounds even, he's wearing green trunks, trimmed in white, Jerry Corey. Jerry Corey. Big hand for Jerry. And from, and from Warren, Ohio, 210 pounds even, he's wearing blue trunks, trimmed in white, Ernie Shavers, Trevor Shavers was smiling at Quarry, and Quarry was very serious. Here are the instructions by the referee. This contest for 12 rounds will be governed by the rules of the New York State Athletic Commission. We expect you to obey these rules. I'll be here to enforce them. In the event of a knockdown, you must take an eight count. Three knockdowns in one round will automatically end the contest. Now, you men break when you're told to break. You will be penalized if you do anything illegal. Shake hands now. We one question. Gil Clancy asking a question about the height of Shaver's trunk. The referee lowers him a little. <laughs> We're ready now for the punch fest. Quarry the green trunk. Shavers the blue trunk. Referee Arthur McCandy, the bell, round one. It's scheduled for 12. Quarry makes the first clinch. Shavers scoring heavily. Shavers warned about grabbing behind the neck. Shavers back to the knee. Might have been hurt. And he is hurt, apparently. Yeah, he's hurt. More 
minute to go in the round. Sabres is in trouble. Down goes Sabres. Taking a mandatory eight count. Five, six, seven. The referee talks to him. He's in Corey's corner. He doesn't seem to know where he is. Well, I think they're going to stop it. The fight is over. The fight is over. The referee has stopped the contest. The winner by a knockout in the first round. Gary Corey. We'll have a replay of the first round, I'm sure. And we'll have an interview with Gary Corey, the winner. Comes the announcement. Jerry! Jerry! That was a spectacular win for Jerry Quarry. A very a sensational win. I think now Jerry Quarry will probably go right in line for a shot at the heavyweight champion, George Foreman. 21 seconds. First round. Referee McKinney stopped the contest. Winner is Jerry Crow.